Welcome to Fort Nelson. This place was built in the 1860s, overlooking the Portsmouth Harbour base just over there. Uh, join me and find out what they have on offer. Let's ride and roll. Let's go! I'm about to go off like a weapon, fuel to the top, got a filled up engine. In my thoughts obsession, I will not stop, no I'm never second guessing. I got a God complex, haters love to hate but I never feel pressed. Got a lot on my plate but I never get stressed. I'll take all the pressure like I'm in this test. Oh, tear it up like I'm Jason, I see the world like it's ready for the taking. I see this place like a game I'm playing, straight to the bank to collect my payments. No negotiations, it's my way, I was born impatient. And like a damn Freemason, I'll run this nation. Here we go then, going inside. Let's see what's on offer. Right, and as you walk in, you are greeted by this just here. Let's have a look at this. Hitting the headlines, arms for a wreck. So obviously this is when the Saddam Hussein was around. And in 1990, custom officers swooped to seize eight sections of super gun barrel, which is just over here. Look at the size of this, it's absolutely massive. And there we go. Right, and here we have the 1943 field gun just there. Great bit of kit, this one. Beautiful. Here we have a 1943 anti-aircraft gun. Looks absolutely stunning. It's weighing just under eight tons there. And then next to the anti-aircraft gun, you've got the renowned 88, which is the most famous artillery weapon of the Second World War. Just over here, as you can see, it's absolutely huge. And that goes all the way up there. I'll just show you it from a different angle just around here. It's absolutely massive around here. And there we go. And here we have another 1940 Portuguese anti-aircraft gun just here. Obviously this is the seat just over here. I'm gonna take you up close and personal to it. And just imagine sitting in that seat operating this. There's the wheel spread as well. There we go. Just over there. Right, you better give me a subscribe. If you don't, I'll shoot with my big gun. So why was Fort Nelson built? Let's go and have a look. So Fort Nelson was built to deter enemies from an attack on Portsmouth from the land. Portsmouth was Britain's premier naval dockyard, building and maintaining warships that were vital to the defence of Britain and her growing empire. There we go. And Fort Nelson had 24 gun ports, as you can see, and this was the last ditch attempt in case, of course, the fort was attacked. There are 24 of these over here. And there's a little bit of information on it just there. Straight out to there. So usually if you come to Fort Nelson, you can see if you measure up. So what you do is you just come down here usually and you put on some clothes to see if you measure up to serve as soldiers in the army in 1860s. But of course due to COVID, that's not on at the moment. And there we go. Right, don't forget to subscribe. So this is what life was like with barrack life here. You were waking up at 6.30 after a cold water wash. And then of course this is your bedding just down here and all of the stuff that you need to get ready for that. Right and this is the kitchen obviously where the meals was made just over here. So this is the barrack block where everyone came to have their breakfast, dinner and tea. As you can see for breakfast they had tea and bread and butter or you can have tea and bread and fish. And for dinner we have things like baked meat and potatoes on a Sunday or Irish stew on a Monday and this is what it looked like for everyone going to have their food. Uh, it's something a bit different here, this is a dragon cast barrel and if you just look over here this is just taken from the Burmese from the British victory in 1885, something a little bit different there. Love the textures on that, it's really nice. And look at this head. Rah. Right, and now we are going deep into the tunnels 
of Nelson. See you there. Right, so this is the main tunnel now. I'm gonna head down and check it out. Look at this here. This is the conveyor belt for anti-aircraft ammunition during the Second World War. Oh, it's got a cold breeze in here. It's absolutely freezing. Right, and now moving down to the tunnels. Let's see what we can find. It's really breezy in here, of course, because the door's open. Here we go. Let's have a look around and see what we can find. We have the main magazine just here. It says, mind your head, just up there. So we'll have a look in here. Oh. Yeah, there's lots of gunpowder here. Of course, Fort Nelson was built as well to hold lots of barrels of gunpowder. And just a little bit in that, just a little bit in here now, just to show you an example of that. Huge room in here, as you can see. Beautiful. Oh look, they even have a lamp room in here. Right, on to the next section. So atmospheric in here, of course. Where we're going forward. Or to the right. We carry on going forward. Yeah, it's really uh, good in here. It's free to enter if you want somewhere to take your family for the day. I mean, it's free to enter, which is really good for the family, of course. Lots of things to do down here, lots of things to see. Right, and now we're going to take the spiral stairs to the North Mortar Battery Parade. Oh, here we go, they're really small stairs here, a bit sketchy. Got to watch where you step, going up these. And we are at the top of the stairs, let's have a look what we can find. Right, and going over here, we have this 13 inch mortar. I'll show you that from the front just over here. As you can see it's sealed up. 13 inch mortar. And then when you come out of there you're greeted by this stunning little courtyard just out here. You've got a bench over there if you want to have a spot of lunch or something like that. And if you look just down there you can see you used to have water running through there. So of course this is where the troops would have gone if the fort got attacked at any one point. As you can see you've got all the gaps around here. Right and here we go back down to the stairs to explore what else is on offer. Right we're going to head upstairs now and check out what's upstairs. There's not a lot up there but I'll give you a tour. And here we go we're walking upstairs. Let's see what we can find. Not a lot in here as you can see, it's just mainly empty rooms just around here. And there we have it. There's something around the corner. <laughs> and they've even got the Venga boys on offer here, boom, 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 boom. And another note, this place is wheelchair friendly as well. You've got a lift just over here, of course if you're no good with stairs. Right, and as you walk out, you've got the calf just over there, serving various cakes and coffees and things like that. And just over here we have the gift shop, various merchandise, let's have a look what they've got. So we've got lots of things for the kids just around here, lots of toys on offer, various prices. And over here we have lots of Fort Nelson merchandise on offer. Um, it's free admission of course, so I highly recommend it if you want to bring your family and you're on a bit of a tight budget. Um, of course the tunnels are really good as well to bring your family and they'll have lots of fun down there. Of course if you come on the weekends it's very busy down here so I highly suggest you can get down in the week and do it. Um, and yeah, I've got lots more attractions coming on the way as long as theme park things. So if attractions is your thing or theme park is your thing, I'm going to be doing lots of both. Um, so give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up, that would be great. On to the next one, let's ride and roll.